peace. No peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. God damn it. Tell them my black soul. <laughs> No justice, no peace. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired, for real. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Our, our people being killed senselessly. Time's up for that. No justice, no peace. We ain't giving no peace. It's our grief that we get justice. We need justice for George Floyd. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being out here for George Floyd. You're very welcome. God bless you in America. Thank you. No justice, no peace, George. Tell him. I, no, no justice, no we out here. Where y'all at? Y'all at home? I'm out here. Where you at? Oh, wait, man. It's the kid that did Sauce Walker. I got the top up today on the coop because it's a very serious situation I want to speak on. I don't want no interruptions when I start speaking. And I'm going to be real short and brief. R.I.P. George Floyd. I'm very... I'm very compassionate and hurt for all the families and everybody connected to this and over anything before anything I say we do need justice for George Floyd we need justice for Sandra Bland we need justice for Trayvon Martin we need justice for all the black heroes that have been slain and killed due to racism or being a minority confusion whatever the case may be police brutality all of that shit true enough as a motherfucking matter as a fact we need all of these things but the real reason why I'm here today speaking on this situation is because I, as a person, a person of black America, I don't agree with the part of the narrative that we are pushing as a black people as a whole, that the answer to these problems that we just going through right now is breaking shit and stealing shit and looting it and making a, 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 a big, a, 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 teaching younger kids and black kids that the, the answer directly when we are treated wrong as a black people is to steal people's shit and break people's shit. Because in, in reality, all you doing is teaches the subconscious black mind that when somebody do something wrong to you in the hood or somebody have an altercation or something goes wrong for you in your everyday surroundings, that the only answer to these problems is violence and to take somebody else's shit. Or y'all are also teaching and promoting a narrative that the only way to obtain power in 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 this world is to or, or not even power to just to, uh, 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 obtain stability is to ask for things or take it because you don't want to give it to me to a certain extent it's a, it, it is a, a huge i don't even know what i don't want to call it a defect but a misunderstanding with my people that in life the next man owes you something or in life if the next person doesn't want to give you something and you can't obtain the things that you want through hard work or through earning it, then it's okay and it's right for you to take somebody else's shit just like it wasn't right for this police officer to take George Floyd's life. Nobody has the jurisdiction or the, 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 the nobody has the right to say that it's okay for you to take another person's life that has not done nothing wrong or unjust to you. But don't think I'm here to fucking help no police, nigga. Fuck police at this point. But understand, I'm not a person that is new to this police brutality and violence like y'all have. I'd have been beat up public by police. I've seen young black men and kings in my neighborhoods and my ghettos get killed by police senselessly my whole life. Way before there was the Sandra Blend, RP the Sandra Blend, bless her soul. But in real life, what we really need to do to make a change in this situation and make a real reform as black people is black people got to really start supporting black people and helping black people. When I say that, this don't mean to uh, 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 like a black person that pictures and watch a video and Instagram. No, I'm talking about in real life. In real life, what black owned and black powered telephone communication companies devices do we have? What black owned Walmart, Target, food produce stores do we have known worldwide where black people can go shop with black owned produce, black owned food, black owned milk, black owned water? What electricity companies do black people own at this point to where the whole world went to some type of disarray and our electricity was taken away from us as black people? What black company will we go to to provide the electricity that was just taken from us? 
in my opinion, I feel like we need to put a little bit more energy as well, just like we putting all of this energy and showing America that y'all got us fucked up and we are not a dog. The black person is not a dog. You're not going to treat us like a dog and, 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 and dispose of us at, at, at your own will. I fully, a thousand, a hundred percent agree with that. But at the same time, just like why I'm pushing a punch for peace narrative with rappers in the rap game because nigga it's not just about putting out a gun and shooting another black man and that mean you a gangster and that mean you hard and that mean you tough in a lot of different situations that shows a, a, a high sign of weakness that the only way that you can defend yourself is to grab a motherfucking firearm and shoot another person why you can't use your arms and your feet and your muscles and your and your tenacity and your testosterone like a man is supposed to but then understand this is why somebody like Lil Boosie gets mad and has an opinion or something to say about Zaya, Dwayne Wade's son, being accepted in the world for being gay or having this high level of feminineness at a young age. Why is that a problem? Because in reality, you don't want to push the narrative to young black men that when times get real in the future and when times get where it's time for a man to be a, a man and be a leader and, 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 and show and show show no levels of fear and stand up for himself and his family. Now that's my answers for everybody on my dick worried about why I wasn't outside running around scooting and hollering because I'm about real action. Real action. Because I don't think now a person that stole some Rolex watches or DR clothing bags finna be in any of these constitutional meetings or standing up with Congress, making an actual difference like the NCAA or these motherfucking black groups that we used to have that I don't see that much anymore. I don't think nobody that did all this stealing is finna really be out there making that difference. The difference I want to see, let's get in this black bank. Let's get some black electricity companies. Let's get some motherfucking black telecommunication services. Let's get some black motherfucking four hospitals top to bottom ownership. Can we own some of these gang banging neighborhoods that we claim and rep? How many black people really own South Park, Third Ward, Fifth Ward, or 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 or, or, or Magnolia projects in your get in your city? Can we get on that though? I nigga saying don't run into the black gas. I ain't been into a black gas station in my life. I've been into a Chinese one, a white one, and an Arabic one though. Even a Mexican. Oh.